Perfect. Okay, guys, good morning. good morning. Welcome. This is going to be the Urban Station. Probably you have heard about this new concept of the game. Uh, we all know that uh, badminton is a traditional indoor sport, but we wanted to do something different. We wanted to do something innovative and something that could help us to grow the sport. Okay, I'm just going to pass this along just for you to know what I'm talking about. Yes, this is the, the air shuttle. So, Air Badminton. Air Badminton is the new BWF uh, development project, and I want to emphasize on that development work. Why? Because we have, a, we have a vision of, of course, increasing the game, and we want to try to find ways to do it. Uh, and Air Badminton comes very good in, that, uh, in, that, in those efforts. So, increase accessibility. As you know, there are some countries, and luckily that they don't have badminton venues. So their first experience happens outdoors. We're talking about African countries, probably Middle East, uh, Caribbean, Caribbean islands, Pacific islands, where infrastructure is a big issue. It's a big uh, uh, challenge. So for them, the concept of playing outdoors already exists. So for us, it was for them uh, giving the opportunity to play outdoors. Uh, increase enjoyment. With this type of sh shadow code that I'm going to explain afterwards, we're increasing the enjoyment that people are having when they play outdoors our game. Increase volume of players. Of course, if we attract more players and give them more opportunities to a place where they can play badminton, we're going to grow the sport. Let's uh, hopefully also transfer those players that are experiencing uh, playing outdoors into a more traditional badminton. Actually, as Johan explained yesterday, now they have a different option to choose. If they cannot or if they are not willing to play or they are not selected to play indoor badminton, they can always play, of course, air badminton. Uh, all of this together will help us to grow the sport. And there is also a very nice and attractive way or attractive approach for this uh, new concept, which is the com competitive structure. So at some point, hopefully, we'll be able to do what Beach Volleyball did uh, with the game. So they, of course, had the Beach Volleyball indoors, and now they have a very nice appealing concept of Beach Volleyball of playing outdoors. So that's the route also we want to see to, to, um, to take. So why Urbanington? The answer is pretty straightforward. We want to make uh, courts available in parks, streets, beaches everywhere so all people can enjoy exactly can enjoy our sport so this is a transfer uh, this is going to be a new approach for people just to find where to play badminton so this is a long-term process uh, it started already in June 2013 and the first the first step for that it was to find a good and the right partner for, uh, for us to develop the shadow park. So luckily we have been working with an institution in, in Singapore who specializes in aerodynamics and sports and they came up with, uh, with different prototypes. As you can see, by 2018 we have more than 30 prototypes. Yeah, actually this is a big number. But why? Because every little change that you do to the design of the shuttlecock will impact the performance and the flight of the shuttlecock. So you could see, and I'm going to explain this after, that every little hole has a purpose. So it will change the rotation. It will change how it turns over. So we have to find all the different elements that could work together very well. I'm sure they make many tests for them. Yeah, yeah, many tests. We have used the... Uh, and I'm going to explain that. So this is one of the tests we do. Inside a wind tunnel, uh, we have to test it every little detail. So one of the, the criteria that we wanted to give to the air shuttle, of course, has to be played with the same rackets. And how we do that? To make around the same weight of the shuttlecock. So right now, as you know, it, uh, the weight of the normal shuttlecock is around six point, uh, between five and six grams. This shuttlecock is weighting around 9.5 grams. So with more the heavier. yeah more heavier because of the wind to make it more resistant to the wind, but uh, so it can be played also hitting it with a normal with a traditional uh, racket, uh, durable and affordable. As you can see, it has a synthetic material, so the length 
same racket, so it has uh, more durability. Resistant to wind up to 15 kilometers. So all these little holes here on the skirt, and you could see the main difference is around this area, the, the point where it connects the head, the base, and the skirt has um, more bigger holes. And this is because the wind from, from the side is coming through here and helping the shuttlecock to rotate properly. So that's why it's a concept. If, we, if you could see the different uh, shuttlecock, the traditional shuttlecock, this area is more covered, so the wind will just uh, push it a little, a little further. Uh, it has the same, same uh, similar trajectory to the shuttlecock. So we have run many tests and players have enjoyed the, uh, the shuttlecock and it's flying very well under good optimal con uh, wind conditions. As I mentioned before, the similar weight and speed. Um, it will support the correct play, of course, of badminton. So the equipment, we have, we have stick, uh, we have been using the same, pretty much the same equipment as indoor badminton. Uh, same post, same net, so the net system is similar to make it more easier to set up. Uh, the height, that's a good question, I'm going to come after about it. Uh, the height of the net in sand is just a little lower. Um, boundary lines, you, you have seen beach volleyball, which are marked with uh, removable uh, lines. So that's the system that we're using also for air badminton. So we can adjust between singles and doubles very easily. And the air shuttlecock and the racket, of course. Those are the main components of the of equipment. Now, this is totally different. Uh, the main difference, as you will see, there is a dead zone. And why is a dead zone? Because we could, uh, first of all, the shuttlecock performs much better when it flies longer distances. Because if it, if it doesn't have actually the wind to support or to push a little bit, to throw air, it doesn't fly very well. So we have to give more strength, more heat to them. Exactly. So that's why when, when we were doing video analysis and see and looking at uh, the net play, actually the duration, the duration of the rallies were quite short compared when we play more flat games, uh, a bit more uh, hard through the baselines. So that's why we came up with a new idea, with a new approach of removing the, uh, the front of the, of the court. So the rallies increase a lot. And coming back to your question, so in normal height is so it's at the at the center is 145 for sun. And why 145? Because when you step on sun, you will lower actually your position a little bit because you will bury your feet. So that's why the position between you and the net is it will be a bit lower. So that's why it's uh, 145. Surfaces. Of course, we are targeting the three surfaces: uh, hard, grass, and sand. Hard, of course, is participation. Is to try to make courts available anywhere in streets, parks. You have to try to use park uh, areas to put badminton courts as well. Anywhere. On the beach, the sun is just to try come, to come up with a new concept, an attractive approach to the game, which it could be the competition side. So actually, three weeks ago, we were in Finland. Yeah, we were in Finland running an air badminton competition, which was a success. And we could see that players enjoyed, the spectators enjoyed. Yeah, this was within a bigger multi-sport event, but it was fantastic to have our sport there for the first time and we could see the reaction and, t and take data uh, uh, about, the, about the game. This is just a very, closing, very brief closing uh, slide about the timeline. At the moment, we are running different pilot and exhibition uh, activities with the aim that in 2020, we are running more official urban activities and competitions. So this is a long-term project. This is something that is going to help us to grow the sport and to hopefully to get more people into, into badminton. Uh, I'm sure that you have uh, different questions about the shuttlecock, about the game. I'm very pleased to take them during the break. Okay. If you have the shuttlecocks, please. Let's uh, give thank, it you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you.